you cannot draw a line between people's houses and go all around to make that you, you, you actually technically legally can do that, but you're you're opening up a can of worms for later problems and, and I would suggest you don't do that. But so maybe so ultimately you want to just get out a big box. That the staff would just request logical boundaries be used. Uh, and when I say logical, I mean a road or a railroad track or um, a road or a railroad track. I mean, honestly, <laughs> that edge. it's got to be, it's got to be, you know, a Can line. Oh, yeah. Yes, that not ideally not a property line. Ideally. Well, based on based on what I've, I've heard and what I know uh, now, um, and feel very comfortable with, it, I like the map we have. I really do. I could, I, could, I could vote it in right now because if there's, I mean, as a person whose family has a lot of skin in the game here, you know, I tell people we've got 11 properties in, in this in this zone. I have no fear whatsoever that it's going to increase our taxes or force us to do something with our properties that we wouldn't want to do. I have no fear whatsoever. So if anybody's got any skin in the game, I, I certainly do because it would affect my families. Um, um, uh, properties inside that zone. So I'm convinced, and and uh, this time last year I wasn't. I, I wasn't that sure about it. But now I'm so sure about what a DBA does and doesn't do that I don't I don't fear it at all for any reason. So, but but to convince someone else of that, it's it's, it's pretty difficult. I can only tell them that that you know I would have as much as lose as anyone. Um, and my family would have as much to lose as anyone in this. So, um, and, and, and I don't fear it in any way, being inside that zone. So I can prove the map as is and with great conscience be able to look anyone in the eye and say, you're not going to be forced to do anything. This is a zone of choice. You choose to borrow money or not. You choose to take out rent or not. You choose to say, I want to be taxed or not. You choose everything. Nothing is forced upon you with a DEA. Um, not the same case with other authorities, but with this one, probably the least invasive one that there is, would you think? Seems pretty clear. It's, it's pretty clear. And so, uh, <coughs> you know, just to let you know, Patrick, I'm sure uh, there, there, there might not be any problem yeah. with it. And I've heard the same things you've heard. I may be able to go back now and, and talk to folks, and they say, "Well, I went to the meeting. And I feel comfortable now, and, and I'm okay." So uh, this was, you know, four months ago or so. Right. So um, we'll see how far we've come. Right. Well, depending on where the council wants to go, um, I will just throw this one out. In the past, uh, you know, we have. Um, we have had an ordinance, and what your charter states, and the previous charter actually did before it was amended and restated in 2010, and the council uh, at that time was insistent, we want this provision retained. And I'll add that a lot of a lot of places you go, a lot of cities and counties, if it's an ordinance, if you get once, it's either an up or down vote, and it's adopted. It is not so in Hagara. There is a more deliberative and public, publicly involved process in Hagara with the adoption of an ordinance. You have a first reading, and if it's unanimously adopted, there has to be 100% concurrence for that to be adopted after public input, then it is codified at that time and approved. But if even one of the council does not feel comfortable with that ordinance in its present form, it then goes not to just two readings, but a third successive reading. And in the past, that has been done only at council meetings. So if you had an ordinance that you wanted read on uh, Thursday, um, you could, you know, from a procedural standpoint, let it go to three readings on uh, in February and in March. So that would give you time. And, and I will say this as well. That ordinance, as it has been read over that period of time, um, has changed. So the ordinance does not have to be in its final form the first night. Right. It can be modified over the second reading and the third reading. It just has to be in its final form by the decisive vote on the third month. So, you know, I just add that. If you want to do that, you can. If you want to kick it to start in February, you can. However the council wants to do it. Um, that is a possibility as well. All right, Kenneth, do you think that we could, uh, and I'll ask the council this, do we feel like we can submit a list of names that we 
each individually come up with. Uh, knowing that any list of names that we send to him, we, we, we must have contacted that person. I wouldn't want to throw a name out there to be uh, read out in, in council meeting when a person has not been notified that they would be, a nom be nominated. I would want to make sure that everyone's been, been uh, approached about it. Do we feel like we could do that? Uh, do the council members think they could come up with a list by, say, Wednesday? that uh, could be given to the city manager to compile a composite list and then uh, not only come up with a list, but again, contact those people to see if they would be willing to serve on it. Do you have the time to do that? Wednesday at noon. Wednesday, Wednesday at noon. Wednesday at noon. Wednesday at noon. I, I, since you asked the question directly to me and then extended it to the rest of the council, I'll answer. Um, it's the same, really, but I appreciate you posing that question. Uh, yeah, I, I do think that I can do that, but I'll also add, I completely respect the opinions and the schedules of the rest of those on the council and the mayor and the staff to, to do things that will be obligated to work with this. Uh, if that doesn't work, then I completely respect everybody's opinions on this, but I think that it can be done. The council's done some pretty interesting things over the last couple of years that uh, that when we were put to the test, we need we need to get something done, we got it done, and we made the right decision in my opinion. I think we could do it on this. Yeah, I, I can go. Is, is Jimmy and Linda Fowles, is that one person or two? Should that count as one or two? No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I, I think it's important just to ask folks prior to submitting their names. I don't think it would be fair to folks that just right. put their names out there. And I need to, with my Wednesday, I can certainly have done that. Yeah. You think you can do it too? So, well, let's do it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But let's try it. Okay. So, if I Wednesday by noon. Okay, if I understand correctly, then what we can do is put the ordinance as written in the example provided by the state, I will tailor that to Hey Hiram. Mm -hmm. And I will produce that as a document with the blanks in there for the members of the board. And that ordinance example, uh, which is tailored to Hey Hire now, will have accompanying it a list of names and a map that was adopted in August. So those three things, the understanding is on Thursday night there is a first reading um, as a public hearing uh, for, for uh, folks to be able to come up and talk. And then the council has time to deliberate at that point on the names and on the map and on the language of the ordinance, which I will also circulate tomorrow. Um, and all of those things do not have to be finalized by Thursday night. Um, I believe, and I will check on this with the attorney, I believe a vote has to be taken. Uh, and I will, I will find out the clarification on that. And if it does not, the understanding is just stated at that time that it will go to three readings. So, um, is, that, is that what I understand? Just, just for a point of clarification, it, there is an opportunity for minor adjustments or Absolutely. amendments to the map prior to Thursday. The, the map can change, the ordinance can change, the names can okay. change. The only thing that has to be finalized if it goes to three readings is by the third reading, um, all of that has to be taken care of and wrapped up and put in its finalized form. So all of that can, to his question, that match or whatever needs to be finalized by, by Thursday, no. it does not, no. as long as it's finalized by the third reading. Correct. Okay. Correct. But in order to finalize the Thursday, we need to be in agreement on the names, the map, and the ordinance. If you wanted to codify it on Thursday night, you need all three of those things accepted unanimously after public input is received. If you wanted it to go to three readings, um, and like I said, I'll clarify this with the attorney, we have always generally have a vote on the initial meeting, but if the understanding among the council is there that they want it to go to three readings, perhaps there could be a motion on sending it to three readings, and uh, y'all could vote on that, and then you could just have it read the second month, and then the third month, and then its finalized form would appear in the third month. 
And I get a clarification from Rob on that. Because I'm not sure about it. I think you got to have it, but you may not have to. On the first have what? A vote? A vote on the first read. An actual up or down vote. I don't know. I'll find out. Oh, I thought that's what you were talking about, have a vote on Thursday night. It, the, the point, I guess, would be if you accept the ordinance in its current form, and if you don't, uh, if it's not, if it doesn't achieve unanimous consent, does it, it then goes to a second and third reading. Right. Um, but there will be a vote. But if there's not a unanimous consent, it goes to a second and third Correct. And reading. It, and if, right. that's, if that doesn't give anybody heartburn, I'll just, I can just leave it alone. But uh, if you want me to get clarification on it, I can. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay, I'll find out. <clears throat> Any other questions, comments? Go. Oh, All right. Uh, 11C.